Before the rings and MVPs, who would have thought a skinny kid that could barely fit in his jersey would shake up the basketball world after an impressive junior year at Davidson? When you lead the nation in scoring with 28 points, then start letting it fly from everywhere on the court during a breakout NCAA tournament run, leading a 10 seed to an Elite Eight, everything changes, especially with hype and expectations. With the seventh pick in the 2009 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select Stephen Curry from Davidson College. against Golden State, but these Nick fans wanted Stephen Curry, the 6'3 junior guard out of Davidson, who quite simply is the best shooter in the draft. The six teams that pass on him probably feel foolish right about now. It's obvious he was much more than just another hungry young player. They get used to it. It's going to be a long year. Getting luggage, getting donuts, coffee. Hopefully that's, hopefully that's it. I don't do it too bad. That's not too heavy though, right? Go uh, easy on it. <laughs> Get a quick lift in too with it. Wait to the bus. Well, uh, right after the draft, went out to Oakland to do the whole press conference thing, meet the coaches, some of the players that are out there working out. It was a quick trip, and you go home, and I started to prepare for Vegas uh, right away. So it was a quick turnaround. Had about a week or a week and a half to prepare. And get a whole new team, a whole new unit, trying to get some chemistry going early. An incredible shooting talent, hoping to earn respect on his team and learn how to develop in the league. The coaches are very good at really taking it slow, realizing that you're going to make mistakes, but keep, you know, just allowing us to have comments on the floor, make plays. Um, and just try to use this whole experience to um, you know, learn things quickly and be ahead of the game once the season starts. Stephen Curry the other way for Golden State. The little hesitation move creating space. Oh, with a shoulder shot <laughs> on McNeil. <laughs> Here's just a natural score. Flashes of brilliance with his pace, touch, and fearless leadership qualities. He was already showing the maturity of a veteran with the exciting, you ain't seen nothing yet feeling every time he displays his elite handles or pulls up from deep. You know, this is the, probably the best opportunity to show that, you know, you got to do whatever it takes to win. And, you know, you're not comfortable with your teammates. Trying to work through that, but also learning how to win games is something that you got to be able to do. So that's something that the coaches want to see you do, especially as a point guard, being able to manage a game um, and get everybody involved and also do what you do best. So uh, that's something I'm trying to prove. Talk to you. The Warriors 2009 Summer League roster had three players not named Curry who dropped at least 20 a game. Meanwhile, this deaf guy sat back, averaged 17.4 points while picking up 21 assists and 12 steals in five games. Flash forward and now, those other Warrior rookie prospects never really established themselves, but Steph became the cornerstone of the franchise and has become arguably the greatest shooter to ever play the game. With NBA Summer League, players have the chance to start their professional careers the right way. The possibilities are limitless. Space over the shoulder shot on McNeil. This kid's going to be around uh, quite a while.